Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Daybreak Nuzlocke Let's Play. We are back on track, ready to rock and roll, and I hope you guys are excited for this one. Show some love and hit that like button down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, because we are about to throw down showdown for what could be the final battle against Squad Zero. It's been pretty crazy, man. We've seen Mega Articuno and Mega Moltres, and I'm fully anticipating to see a Mega Zapdos today. I did train up the team to get it where I wanted to be. We decided to add Scoops to the squad. This is Choice Scarf Scoops here with uh, Snow Warning, of course, to boost his, uh, you know, his blizzards. He does have Sheer Cold, Ice Beam, Hail, and Blizzard. I don't know what we're doing with that. And then I actually decided to add Money to the team. Money only has one weakness, right? He's got a good move set. Because again, you guys remember, I don't have access to TMs. I don't have access to different items that I normally would right now because I can't leave Mount Zerus. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, why don't you use Rotom Wash Form? Why don't you use Mega Metagross? I can't change the form of Rotom. I can't get Mega Metagross right now. I don't have any Mega Stones that are viable for the Pokemon on my PC. But after we get through this, hopefully I can use Mega Absol, Mega Manetric, Mega Metagross, those Pokemon, and we'll hopefully be on a better playing field. But ultimately, the team's healed up. I'm ready to go. Before I jump into it, I want to let you guys know, for today, you guys can use code ADRIVE to receive 30% off your G Fuel purchase. For those who don't know, I drink G Fuel every day. It's a great blend of vitamin and antioxidants. It'll keep you fueled throughout the day. It does have caffeine, so I do recommend 18 and up for that. But my flavor is Blueberry Lemonade or Shiny Splash, repping the Shiny Pokemon Hunting, of course. And I'm telling you guys, it is one of the top flavors for a reason. It is amazing. It tastes super smooth. Very refreshing. Great drink. Try it out, guys. Seriously. 30% off right now with code ADRIVE. It helps me out. Pick up my flavor. You can check out the link in the description. And if you've never tried it out, seriously try it out. It's way less expensive than typical energy drinks. No sugar, only 15 calories. It's a game changer. I'm not kidding. Try it out. Anyway, let's jump into things here. And oh, if you like G Fuel, type vouch in the comments so people know that it's real. It's the real deal. But let's see what's good. We're going to jump into it here. Now it just needs to warm up a little bit. And now for the start of the show. It's rather ungrateful for you to pursue me like this. Did I not hook you up with some very expensive serums with an associate of mine at the power plant? Perhaps my partner ticked you off at the old temple, but alas, here you are. Why here? This is an ancient temple dedicated to Lord Arceus. I thought it might be fitting. It may feel a sense of familiarity and ease when we summon it. This place is from a long era ago. An era long ago. From the time when people of the hidden city like Zenith were once grounded. You know, Zenith and Carrasco are part of the same ilk. Unfortunately, that poor old Zenith, he was imprisoned. But here we have my favorite of the family, putting out a plan for us to conquer the world. His Swampert is no joke either. It's actually very old, but through some very creative means, it's uh, been kept immortal up to this point. It doesn't look a day over 486. All this backstory and rich emotion gave some serious motivation for us to get things running. Now here we are. I am to become the ruler of the gods, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I might as well put a stop to your shenanigans right now. Let's have it. All right, this is Gaz, and it's about to go down against Gaz, and he's gonna kick things off with a Greninja, and that is a Fire and Dark Greninja. So I don't really have a good way to deal with him. Fire and Dark. Um, I mean, I have Goro. He can't hit me with anything that's super effective. I kinda wanna Leech Seed or X Scissor. I'm gonna X Scissor? I'm faster? Poison Jab. Yikes. And he poisons me, so that's just wonderful. It's a wonderful start. Um, I don't know if he poison jabs again. I'm thinking I want to go into money. I'm thinking I'm going to go into money here. And he does poison jab again. Doesn't do much. He does get another poison off. So he's kind of just hacking me out. I do have the benefit of earthquake here though, which is good. So we're going to go for that. And he's going to dark pulse. But I think I live one. Yeah, I actually tanked that dude. Money doing beast mode things here. Um, all right, so money gets gets it going. That's a good start. Could have been could have been better, but could have been worse. Here's a septile. What is that septile? Dude, I don't even know what type that is. I have I have no idea what that even is. I couldn't even begin to guess what that is. My thought is go liberty, but that thing could be a ghost type. I have no idea what I'm about to get into here. I'm gonna go Goro because I just don't even know what that is. Leaf Blade. So, Bronze, I was... Wait, he's got poison! He's Is he poison grass? He's got black sludge, so he's poison. He's definitely poison. Poison and grass. Okay, so we're gonna go Liberty then. Cross poison, okay. And 
I'm going to go for Psychic. Toxic Spikes. That's a problem. That's a problem. If only I knew what type he was, bro. Milotic. What's my Milotic answer? Cinder is my Milotic answer. And it's very weak right now. Okay, so what I gotta do is I gotta full restore Cinder. That's my first potion of the battle. And here comes a mirror coat and it doesn't do anything. I hope he mirror coats again. That would actually be really nice. I do have Grass Knot. I think the play is go Cinder. Hopefully he mirror coats again. He does mirror coat again, which means I get to Leaf Blade. I'm gonna start taking poison damage, which is a little bit annoying. I am faster, which is good. So we get Leaf Blade, and I do have Expert Bells. So this should do a lot. And it just straight one shots my Lottie. Let's go. Okay. We're in this. That poison is very annoying. Excadrill. All right. I think I gotta go Jug. And the downside is he can do a lot of damage to me. He has scissors, which is amazing for me. I have to trust that Jug can live a hit here, and I don't know if he can. I don't think I live in Ironhead. Or an Earthquake. I don't think I do. Not after all that residual. But at the same time, there's nothing on my team that really does. There's no way, dude. There's no way. There's no way he's living. There's no way he's living. So what do I do here? I could sack off money. Uh, I don't know. I could also sack off Juggernaut here since I'm already in. Get a free switch into Cinder and go for like a Leaf Blade. But I don't think that does enough. I don't want to play a game where I'm just switching around, switching around because that seems like very, very bad. But I'm not sure what else I can do here. These Toxic Spikes are so bad for me, dude. Scoops can Blizzard, but it's not super effective, right? So, like, I'm trying to save that from being what I do here. Liberty can't come in and take an Earthquake because I don't have Levitate. I have Mold Breaker. Money gets destroyed and dies. I have two potions left. I feel like I almost sack off Juggernaut here, which I hate to do because I really like Juggernaut. He Xs us again! Oh, dude! That's crazy! Oh, baby! Wow! That's huge! And here comes Zapdos! It's gonna be the Mega Zapdos! Okay, so, real talk, I basically am sacking something here. And it's gonna be Money. Which I'll be real, like, I kinda went into this understanding that Money was gonna get kinda sacked off there. There's Mega Zapdos! He goes for Heat Wave. Maybe I actually live. Do I live after everything? Probably not, right? Oh, I actually do live after everything. Okay, so I can use my second potion here and I'm kind of feeling like I heal Money up. Or I heal Juggernaut up, right? Because healing Juggernaut up could give me the chance to hit him with a big Earthquake or like a Stone Edge. I'm Choice Banded, so it's going to do a lot of damage. That's probably the safest bet, although I do have two potions. So Money is kind of spicy here too. And it's very unlikely as a grass type move. I'm gonna do money and hope for the best. Heat wave! That, if that's his best way to hit me, we're in a great spot! And I have, uh, I have ice beam. He's got hurricane. Inhale, dog! Okay, this is good. Okay, I think. This is tough. This is tough. Do I, do I heal up Juggernaut here? Feel like I heal up Juggernaut here. Use my final potion of the battle and say goodbye to Money. Is that the play? He's got to hit a Hurricane, otherwise it doesn't matter. That Hurricane did so much. I'm gonna heal Juggernaut here. He roosts. Okay, that's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal, but it seems as though his best way to hit me is this hurricane and he very well could miss. He doesn't miss. I don't know how how you hit all those hurricanes. I have no idea. But the good news is, Scoops can come in here 
I go for a blizzard. I think that's the play. That's why Scoops is on the team. For this moment, the fire of a massive blow. Oh, he's faster and he misses a heat wave. My dude hits all those hurricanes and then misses a heat wave and Scoops is living. And I kind of forgot there was another Pokemon and it's Blaineon and I don't know what type that is. That looks like fire and what, dude? I kind of want to go Liberty just to see what he's going to do. I don't want to leave Scoops in. That's definitely Flareon plus something else. Flareon plus Glaceon, maybe? Let's go Liberty. I do have Heat Proof. Ice Beam. Freezes me, dog. Do I go Cinder then? I don't have any more potions, though. And, like, what am I going to do to him? Leaf Blade him? Exazer him? Like, that's not a thing. Let me see if I thaw here. Ice Beam again. No, I don't thaw. I don't really have a good option here. <sighs> Scoops! All right, if you remember Fro from way back downtown, you remember when he hit the biggest sheer cold of all time. He does it again! Scoops, AKA Fro, hitting the biggest sheer cold of all time! Let's go, dude. Let's actually go, dude. My man Scoops, AKA Fro, from the Vault White 2 playthrough, hitting the biggest sheer cold you've ever seen, didn't even flinch, didn't even shiver, didn't even shudder, clicked it one time and said goodbye. Woo! Has that really just happened? The snow, yes, the snow has been distracting my Pokemon. How foolish of me to think they were actually weak. But of course you are too late, the machine is ready. And now, let us commence. They got the, the Hoopa portal, and there is Primal Dialga! It is an Arceus, it's Dialga, but it's discolored. Why does it look like that? I think it's Primal Dialga. Why is it not Arceus? Our preparations are useless now. I'll defeat it myself. This thing is too strong, even for my Pokemon. How is it possible? I can't believe I'm doing this, but you're up. If you beat me already, you're the strongest trainer up here. Let me heal your Pokemon. Now do something. Can I leave? Oh, I can't leave. Okay, so I am going into this down a Mon, right? Because Mon A technically can't do anything here. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do, but I'm gonna lead off with Juggernaut and we're gonna do our best. And I'm gonna try not to use Mon A, I guess. Let's get it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna lead with Goro because I can low sweep and make him slower maybe. All right, let's see what this thing's got. I wonder if I can catch him. Oh, it's a double battle, but he's level 100. What am I supposed to do with that? All right, I'm gonna low sweep and then I guess I'll leech seed. Okay, that's good. Low sweep, he's pretty slow. And he's gonna blizzard. Okay, I got leech seed though. Oh, I get so much leech seed back though. I'm gonna lava plume. If I burn Goro, it's actually not the end of the world. I get a crit, it doesn't really do much. Speed drop, flash cannon into Goro. He's living. We're actually in this right now. He gets a speed boost. I gotta switch out Goro. Let's go Liberty. Maybe I can put him to sleep. And I'll go for... I think I just Lava Plume again. I can't burn Liberty, so... If I can burn him, that residual is gonna be really big. He actually flash cannons Liberty, which does more than I thought it was gonna do. Leech Seed is so big right now, though. Yo, I can Hypnosis, I think. If I hit a Hypnosis, this is huge. I think I have to Leaf Blade, though. I'm not sure it's worth... The music is so sick. I'm not sure it's worth Lava Pluming because I don't want to lose Liberty right now. Actually, you know what I can do? I can use a Potion on Liberty for this turn. And if I hit Hypnosis, we win. Flash cannon. He hits it! Yo! Can I catch him? Do I try to catch him? I don't have a Master Ball, bro, right? Like, it would tell me if I could catch him, right? I would think. I'm just gonna double into him then. He's still sleeping and we're gonna beat the Primal Dialga! Maybe? Leech Seed? 
I just beat a level 100 Primal Dialga Dog. The portal closed and Dialga fled! Now, why the heck was that not Arceus? Carrasco, did I input something wrong? I think I know why, Gazzy. Well, you set the signal last, so tell me. That's the thing, I didn't do that last. That honor goes to... Look, it's me! It's not quite what I had hoped for, but you were never getting Arceus. Is that Athena, like the champion? Quite right, I heard the commotion from the mainland and came here as quickly as I could for support. Huh, I see, while we were distracted with the kid, you played us, and Athena comes to seemingly intimidate us. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not going anywhere with either of you today. Hiya! He ran past us. A drive, chase him. There's an emergency exit on the basement floor. As for the rest of you, you're coming with us. There's an emergency exit on the basement floor. All right, well, let me go to the PC, because obviously I'm down a mod, just to be safe. Goodbye to my friend, Money. You did great. You really did. Good job, buddy. And temporarily, I'm gonna add Melody to the team, um, just simply because I just feel like that's the best thing I have that's trained up right now, so let's keep rocking. Oh, now I get the Master Ball, go figure. Oh, I'm actually in Mount Zerus. And I think I get an encounter here? This is a new location, there's a duplicate in Golbat. Um, I can't escape, of course. Try to get away. Um, this is a new location, so I'll get an encounter, let's see what we get. And another duplicate, a Weavile. <laughs> And another duplicate of Golbat. And an Alolan Ninetales! About that life. A-okay with me, dog. Uh, it doesn't have snow warning though, so it's a little disappointing, but um, I think if I Psychic, I probably don't knock it out. I might have though. Let's see. Yeah, we're good, and let's catch him. We got it! Not too shabby. So I get an Alolan Ninetales encounter. That's pretty sweet. I didn't even know I was in the game. Emma Frost, baby. All right, so another Pokemon to potentially use. A drive. I had to help Looker first. I'd hope Gaz didn't get too far. It seems like he thought this escape route through. He could be anywhere at this point. Look like we'll have to find him another time. In the meantime, you better still be training hard. I hope I'll be seeing you soon. Oh, so they're just assuming he's gone. I should probably inform Professor Blake about everything that's happened. All right, let me drop a uh, repel and let's get through the rest of this cave and get out of Mount Zerus once and for all. Oh my goodness. Oh, we just got Glalie's Megastone here. That's cool. And something's up here. There, I don't, there's nothing here now, but I wonder what is supposed to be up here because this definitely looks like you encounter a legendary or a battle or something up here. And it seems like I found the way out and now I'm just like thrust into trainer battles. So this guy's got an Obama Snow. Um, I mean, I have a team, so I guess, I guess we're okay here. Um, go figure. Like I just basically saved the world and now it's like, oh yeah, just gotta battle these random trainers that are just chilling here. We've got Lava Plume. Goodbye, Obama Snow. I do want to get a better fire move. Hopefully we'll get something a little bit stronger. Here's a Weavile. Um, I could just x her, I think. Like, I could live a Night Slash. I hope this KOs. That would have been sketch because I died a hail there, but it didn't happen, so it's okay. We got another trainer here. I mean, these guys are pretty easy at the level I'm at, so I'll just Lava Plume everything. Hopefully beat him down. He can't, uh, I mean, Blizzard hurts, but he can't uh, sheer cold me because I'm a higher level. So we should be all right to beat these dudes. We'll beat up this trainer and then I gotta go back and talk to the professor. I don't have fly though, so it's a little complicated. I have to kind of take the long route. Yo, check this out. This guy's got Isocleon, which is psychic and and uh, ice, I think. Yeah, it's, it's Glaceon plus Espeon, which is pretty dope. Uh, we're just kind of taking on the last couple trainers here, but I should be able to beat this guy. If he doesn't keep freezing, Liberty! Liberty, how do you keep getting frozen? This is the second time today. Um, like, what is? what do I do if I'm frozen? I guess I full restore and then do the same thing. He really just is like, yeah, I'll freeze you. It's all good. You're not going to have blizzards forever. Stop freezing me. That's the second time, man. All right, Gyro Ball. Don't freeze me again, dog. He crits me. No freeze this time. Big Gyro Ball. That did nothing, though. Tell me that didn't do that much. I guess I gotta heal up again and kinda slow play this because I don't really have a lot of good answers to this guy. And he's gonna keep blizzarding me, but he'll eventually run out of blizzards as well, so we should be fine. He's gonna swords dance. Uh, that's a little scary. I hope you don't have any good attacks. Ice shard, oh, we're good, we're good, we're chilling. I miss because he's got snow cloak. Getting hacked out so bad right now. There we go. All right, I beat Isaac Leon. Isaac Leon. 
That's kind of cool. I think I'm almost to town though. Okay, I made it back to Snalaska Village. Thank goodness, because that was rough. Is this the Pokemon Center? This is the rest stop. Is there even a Pokemon Center here? Dog, tell me how I can't even, I can't even like go back. I have to take like this super long way because I don't have a Pokemon that can fly. I hate HM so much, dude. Taking the cable car back. Bro, I can't surf either. Oh my God. <laughs> Actually, I can. I can surf. Melody can learn surf, which I had no idea, but uh, also I would have been able to surf with Juggernaut. I remember that Rhyperior somehow learned surf. Rhydon does too. So I can get out of here, presumably. And you can go down waterfalls. I'm just trying to get back, dude. Like, I'm just trying to get back to a PC at this point. Okay, I made it to Plato City, which does give me a PC. So we can get a flyer and we can go talk to the professor and see what's good. Okay, so I actually don't even have a Pokemon that can fly that's alive, which is kind of awkward. So for the purposes of saving myself a tremendous amount of time, I am going to just grab Batwoman here temporarily. And I'm not going to use it in battle. I'm just going to use it for utility. Hey, Drive, it's so great to see you. How did it go with Looker? Find anything? You tell Blake everything. Good heavens, I'm a bit embarrassed now. I really thought Dante was an honest fellow. I'm stunned. So all my hope in researching a meteorite was really supporting a group of thugs out of power. And what we discovered can't be published properly without invoking further mischief. No matter. Hey, Drive, I want to personally thank you for your help. I offer you this job, and by golly, you exceeded my expectations. You've clearly grown immensely and are a serious trainer to boot. Dear I say, I think you can become the next champion of Armira. You must have nearly all the badges by now. You should pursue that goal. It'd be good for you to push your limits and make your folks back home proud. I nearly forgot something. Here's your pay for the job. 100K, baby. I wish you luck. In the meantime, I'll hunt for new mysteries for you to explore. Take care. Oh, my control is glitched now. So we just got 100K, which is pretty darn awesome. Oh, hey, A-Drive. I was heading over to apologize to Blake, but I don't know if I can do it right now. But I suppose I should be apologizing to you the most. To be completely honest, you were not part of the original assignment. But I don't think I'd ever come this far without being there. Someone I could challenge, someone I could try to beat like a real rival. I'm originally from Johto. My older brother is involved with Team Rocket. And I thought by moving here I would change, but I ended up the same way. But because of you and the circumstances at play, I've seen the way forward. I want to continue my quest to the top as a trainer and be more like you. It's easy to say that. I don't know about Blake. Maybe I'll go challenge the last gyms I need first so I can think of what to say. Smell you later, bro. Hey, character development. You love to see it. <laughs> so we have officially taken down Team Squad Zero, although Gaz did get away. So who knows what's going on with that. We beat Mega Zapdos and of course Primal Dialga, which came through the Hoopa Hole. I'll have to figure out what's going on next, but I have a PC. I have access to the rest of the game. Phenomenal. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Daybreak, show some love. Don't forget to pick up G Fuel code A-Drive. Use my code, get some shiny splash. It's amazing. Seriously, I drink it every day. I'm about to go make myself one right now. Thank you guys for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Daybreak. Peace.